Okay, here is our tutorial for the ridge top and small stem using the pattern that's out on my Kofi page. All right, this is what we're aiming to make. If you use a chunkier yarn and a larger size, you're going to get a larger piece. If you want a smaller piece, decrease your yarn size and your hook size. All right, so you can make this however you want, whatever color you want, depending on, on what you have or what you'd like to make. A chunky uh, yarn and a chunky needle will give you, when I, yeah, there you go. Okay, so that's literally about twice the size, about twice the size as the normal one, okay? And the hook sizes recommended are G for the smaller one and M for the chunky one. Now these are not stuffed, there, there's no stuffing in these, all right? There's no stuffing in these at all. You may stuff them. If you do a larger one and you actually want it to sit up, you might want to stuff it and put a little pipe cleaner in it to give it a little firmness. But you do not have to stuff these at all, okay? All right, so let's get into the pattern. Um, to do a demonstration, and the ones, the yarn that I used for this and the larger pieces as well is uh, the Retro Stripe Super Saver. Uh, this pattern is great for acrylic fibers because it's that we need that stiffness where it will hold its shape okay so you don't have to go fancy on this we're going to start with the ridge top so we are on this side of the pattern okay magic circle um if you know how to do the magic circle great if you don't i'm going to teach you two fingers hold the yarn with your thumb wrap over the top make an x at the back and two parallel lines at the front. So I have two parallel lines at the front. I have an X in the back and I'm holding the yarn with my thumb. I'm gonna repeat that because some people don't know how to do this. If you do, I apologize. Please just hold on a sec, all right? So I'm gonna loop it from the back. I'm gonna hold it with my fingers. I'm gonna make an X on the back. So I'm literally watching the back because I have to make the X. And I'm gonna hold again. Two parallel lines in the front and X in the back, okay? Now here's the trick. People are like, I can't do this, I can't do this. You can totally do this, all right? But you need to focus on this. This is the foundation of your piece. I go under the first loop, I hook the second loop, I pull it through and I twist. If you do not twist, this will fall apart. If you do not twist, this will fall apart. Okay, now that I have that, I'm going to snag the free yarn and pull a loop up so that it will hold. Okay, I'm gonna do that one more time, all right? What do we do? Well, we hold the yarn at the back. We're gonna make an X at the back, two parallel lines at the front, okay? Under the first one, pull through the second one and twist, 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 twist. All right, at this point you can slide it off and hold it at the twist and then make the loop or you can make the loop on your fingers, but always test, always test. Sometimes there are like textured yarns and you wanna make sure that your loop opens and closes freely, okay? So this is our magic circle. This is our magic circle, all right? We're going to do one single crochet. Not everybody does this. You don't have to, I choose to. Now here's the, the little trick, okay? You want to go over both of these. So you're going to go under, loop up. I have two loops on my hook. This is the single crochet and I'm going to pull through. That's one single crochet. Go under, loop up. I have two. That's two single crochets. I feel like the count. Okay. So you can see here's where we stepped up. One, two. All right. Three single crochets four single crochets, five single crochets, six single crochets. Here's what six single crochets looks like with a moderate acrylic yarn, okay? Now find your tail, you're gonna need that. You're gonna pull this, okay? You're gonna, the, how tight do you pull your yarn? Pull it, don't, don't break your yarn, don't break your yarn, okay? But you can see it, there's still a hole there. I don't want the hole. Some patterns, you want the hole. We don't want the hole here, okay? You no longer see the hole. Perfect, that's what we want, okay? You can pull it tighter, but you risk you risk breaking it and then you have to start over and that's a hassle, you don't want that, okay? All right, what I'm gonna do is I'm going to slip stitch this because I have to do the knot. Okay, hold on, one, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, now I put the piece down to tie it just a little, 
tool knot, I usually do two. So there's, is this one tiny little knot? Okay, I'm gonna do another one. Okay, now this is your magic circle. This is with six single crochets. Now, why didn't I call this a row? Because I feel like to beginners, this in itself is an accomplishment. So if you have gotten this far, congratulations, you are amazing. If you already knew how to do the magic circle and single crochet, then rock on, you are amazing, okay? Um, what we're going to do is we're going to grow this, okay? So if we only did one single crochet, it's gonna stay the same size. We want to grow this, all right? This is important, all right? So I'm going to do a loop to step up and you can count one, two, three, four, five, six, okay? So you can always count if you're a beginner, if you're not a beginner, don't, you, don't worry about counting. We don't need counting. Counting, counting's for people who don't know how to do stuff. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> um, some people are against counting. Um, I personally, I, I, I have feelings about counting. So we're in the first stitch. I'm doing a single crochet and I'm doing another one. I'm doing two single crochet in the same stitch. See, and that's what it says two single crochet in each stitch and the asterisk means to repeat this the entire way around okay so if you were using a stitch marker you would put that in your first in our first mark okay now did I do, oh I didn't even finish that <laughs> bad tutorial okay so I'm going to keep doing that one single crochet two single crochet that's in one stitch okay going in one, two. Um, I am against counting because I usually get my counts wrong, especially on very complicated patterns. It's very frustrating to me. So it's not actually, not actually a thing. I just get frustrated. Okay, so we have done, let me get the last one. In, oh, I messed that up, hold on. One, two, okay, so. You have our stitch marker, all right? And we're just gonna count. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, perfect. All right, so we have 12 stitches. We have essentially doubled the size of our circle, okay? We've doubled the size of our top. We're on row one, we're right here. We've doubled the size of our top. Okay, row two, front loop only. Well, what does that mean? Okay, so each stitch has a top and a bottom. Okay, the way that you're holding your piece matters on this, okay? So if this is the front of my piece, this is the top of my piece, I only want to do this loop, not both loops, this loop, okay? Typically we would go through both loops, but we're actually starting to give our piece shape, all right? So front loops and back loops usually gives pieces shape and texture. So we are going to do one single crochet in the front loop only. So I'm, oh, here we go. I'm picking out the front loop. Okay, I'm gonna do the same thing. I'm gonna pull through. I'm gonna do a single crochet and then I'm gonna add my stitch marker back in. And same thing, all right? So I gotta, I gotta look closely. I gotta pick it, pull it, pick it, pull it, pick it, pull it. Now, if you're like, ah, oh, Jess, I really don't wanna do front loop. I'm a beginner. I don't know if I can do it. You can totally do this. You can totally do this, okay? Um, if you get both loops by accident, just, just stop and pull, pull back a bit, okay? No big deal, take your time. Remember, this is a small piece. This is supposed to be a fun, quick make. It's perfect for beginners or folks that are just getting back into this because front loop only, new, new abbreviation. See, I went through both. Okay, I'm coming back out. I'm gonna go through again. Try it again, try it again. New abbreviations can be a little intimidating. Um, I did not write a... Uh, an introductory page to the stitches because I knew I was going to be doing the video tutorials. Okay, now whenever I get close to the end, I always get nervous and I always try and count. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Oh, yep, perfect. My last stitch. Okay. Now, as you can see, look, we have a little hat now. All right, and it naturally pulls it that way. So I don't want you to be like, ah. Maybe my tension is too tight. No, it's it's meant it's meant to pull it down because it's gonna hold the growing shape, okay? If your tension is too tight, take a deep breath and stop. No. <laughs> Some people just naturally have tight tension. If that is true, you can always take a step up and hook, okay, and see if that helps. Or you can pull out the row and try again, all right? But if it's the way that you prefer to work, 
If it is the way that you naturally work, um, just, just step up a hook size. You'd be all right. All right. So now we have finished. We have finished our two single crochets. All right. Now we're going to the next row, row two. Okay. Now here are brackets. All right. For beginning, this might be a little, ah, oh my gosh, the brackets. Okay. It's a pattern. It's a pattern. Okay. We're going to do one single crochet in one stitch and two single crochet in in one stitch so we're growing slowly so instead of doing two each time we do one then we're gonna do two we're gonna do one then we're gonna do two okay that's what that bracket implies so we're back to our stitch marker i'm gonna remove my stitch marker stick it on off now remember it doesn't say front loop only oh wait did i totally do the wrong thing oh i did oh my gosh i also make mistakes <laughs> all right so i'm just literally gonna pull it out it's okay We'll be all right, we'll be all right. Okay, <laughs> of course. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. 10, 11, 12. Okay, so we're back to the beginning. And I'm gonna do it right this time. Instead of looking at the stem, I'm gonna look at the top. Okay, so we, we just did uh, two single crochet in each stitch. And I apologize, that was my fault. No, I meant to do that. No, uh, so we're gonna do one single crochet and then two single crochet. Am I embarrassed? Very. Am I gonna start over? No. Okay, so we're going in both loops, okay? So one single crochet, add the stitch marker, two single crochet. Okay, one, two. All right, now we're back to one, back to one, back to two. So we're following our pattern. One, two, one, two. We're back to one, back to two. That's okay, we'll get through this. One, two. <laughs> it's a very me thing to do. This is gonna be like 20 minutes. I apologize. One, and then two. Now, someone will ask, why are we growing slowly? Um, beginner folks are just like, why can't we just do double, 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 double? You could, but it's going to affect the shape of your piece. If you would like to experiment with that, I encourage you to do so. Okay. Row three. <laughs> Halfway done. This is amazing. If you do it right. Uh, single crochet in each stitch. So I'm taking out my stitch marker. Single crochet. Got you, boo. Put it back in. So one, two, three. Now you can start to count your rows, right? Jess, why didn't you count your magic circle as a row? Um, I actually messed up the chicken scratch that I wrote, and I should have, but I did not. So that's a me thing, not a you thing. It's not, not a new invention. I really just, I did mess up as I messed up before. Okay, so we're really just doing one single crochet all the way around. All the way around, all the way around tight stitch. Hold on, let me get that through. Okay. Almost there. <laughs> 15 minutes later. <laughs> All right. Okay, so now row four is two single crochet in each stitch. Now again, you're at the end of your row. If you're feeling nervous or anxious, you can count your stitches. Um, we, we've got, we've got a little bucket hat now. Okay. We have two rows left. Same deal, okay? Row four, we're gonna do two single crochet in each stitch. We're doubling, we're doubling our size again, okay? So we did a little step up, now we're doing a big step up. And this is really what creates the ridge. So if you're interested in making a, a wavy piece or a larger piece, you can add, you can add more rows to this. But just experiment with how you're growing and take notes, because I don't take notes and I should, I should take notes. Um, about how it affects your piece. So we're doing two stitches, two single crochets in every stitch of your former row. So we're literally doubling the size, okay? Which is fantastic math for people who count stitches. In my mind, I'm just like two, 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 because I'm used to going one, two, one, two. And if you do amigurumi, like the little dolls or animals, 
you, you'll follow the same growing patterns. If you want to learn to do a ball or a circle, it's gonna be the same thing. One side you're gonna increase, the next side you're gonna decrease. And increase just means growing the size. So I don't want you to get nervous if you see an INC, which is an increase, or a DEC, which is a decrease, okay? I'm gonna go over how to do that in the stem. And I may actually make that a separate video because this is 15 minutes. Oh my gosh, I talk a lot. I totally should have fast forwarded this part. Okay, so this is row four. Look, look, you see the, see the little waviness? See the little waviness? Now here's where we secure it, row five. Right, one single crochet, two single crochet. Again, we're doing that pattern. One, two, one, two, okay? Remove your stitch marker, put a one. All right, that's your one. I'll put the stitch marker back in. Okay, now we're doing two because we already did our one. We're gonna do one. And we're gonna do two. Now these might be a little tighter just because you have doubled your stitch. So if you're feeling like you have to wrestle a little, just be gentle because we don't want to pull the stitches apart too much. We want it to stay solid-ish. Okay, and my two stitch, and then I'm going to my one stitch. And then I'm going to my two stitch, and I'm just gonna follow that pattern all the way around. And this is what is going to give our edge that wonderful ripple, okay? Now, uh, can you shape this? Yes, you can. Uh, get this i don't even want to say wet i would say get it damp and shape it and stretch it how you would like to okay i know some people use um fabric stiffener you don't really need to unless your stitches are really loose um for example if you're using the thicker chunky yarn and uh i'm gonna pause for a moment just to show you so if you use a thicker chunky yarn it's a little more a little more waffly and if you wanted to stiffen it, you probably could, but I don't think you need to. You probably just shape it and it'd be all right. Uh, but if that's something you're interested in experimenting and playing with, go for it. I'm back on my two stitch. One. And I don't want you, oh, there you go. I don't want you to rush this if you're new. Um, I've been doing this a bit and I'm still going kind of slow because I have to poke, poke my hook in there. Uh, but this is the last row, okay? So I want you to watch your tension. I want you to watch that you're not pulling too hard on the stitches below because it did get very wide very quick. And I want you to be very pleased with the mushroom top that you are almost done creating. One, two, Now again, if you don't want to go in a circle or your stitch marker fell out, um, I would say first off, please clip your stitch marker. Uh, but I do that all the time. Okay, and I'm almost there. One, two. Am I there? One, two, three, four, five. Yeah, okay, cool. And I'm just going to do a slip stitch into the next one, which means I'm literally putting my hook under, pulling yarn through, and I'm going to secure it tightly, okay? I'm going to trim my end. I'm going to pull this through. And it automatically gives itself a little knot, which is great. And then you can weave in your ends, okay? So you have two ends to weave in, fix, fuss, fight with, whatever you'd like. And here is your ridge top. Ta-da! Uh, yeah, have fun with these. Um, this wasn't a very long pattern, but it certainly went long because of my talking. We're going to work on the stem next. Thanks for watching.